Good morning, my love bugs. Actually, good afternoon, I should say. I am about to uh, just do a really quick video of a painting that is my first time ever. It's a freestyle painting, it's an abstract painting, it's a texture painting. Freestyle, abstract, texture. I've done one freestyle painting, which was called Tranquility. That was a sold piece to Outer Stater. Um, one of my supporters, actually, um, one of my supporters in uh, my spirituality, my supporter in my um, walk of life, just a, a, um, a dear friend of mine. Um, she seen the vision, seen the dream, and she brought into a freestyle work. So, um, this outside of family. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am going to, this is my intro. I hope you enjoy my video. Um, it's my very first video ever like this. So, if you enjoyed it, um, leave a comment down below. If you have a suggestion of what I should paint, leave a comment down below. Um, I am semi free forming my locks and if you want a video of the stages and how many locks i have how many months i've been locked how many weeks i've been locked what's my goal and parting size and all that good jazz but uh yeah so hope you enjoyed the video so here is the canvas that i'm working with um it has already been primed uh, this particular brand comes pre-primed already for you so as you can kind of see like the dimension in the whites i don't know if you can tell or not it's in a drying stage it's still kind of wet um i put two layers on and this is going to be the base of what i'm going to be using the spackling or putty that you see me applying to the canvas after the gesso has dried is by Dry Dex, and it says it takes one to five hours to dry. Um, but the only thing that I didn't like was it said it dried pink. It goes on pink, but clearly that's not pink. It's like a cream color. And once it dries white, you're supposed to know that it's done. The drying time has passed, but I literally had to keep filling because it turned gray from this cream. And I will say, because this was my first time actually doing this method, I would use more putty for more texture. I think I was a little too afraid of messing up or it being too thick, but I know I could use more. I forgot to mention the brand that I use for my guests. So it's the Liquitex. It was what I applied before I actually Put the spackling or the putting on and those are the brands of spatulas that I use. I only use three as you see me lovely demonstrating their white hands and yeah. I'm going to run down the brushes that you see me using right there is the painter's brush. I like it because it's fluffy and it kind of helps blend with the product. I really didn't use that brush, but yeah. Then I have the 32 inch. It's an angled flat head brush. Uh, I like it for details. I use a one inch brush, a 16 inch brush, 20 inch brush, 14 inch brush. And I'm just showing you my cup of water that I use, my clean water and my, my water to clean my brushes, I should say. And the clouded water you see right there, I'm just showing you the products that I add into my water, that second clear glass, which helps me make my acrylic way more flexible. This is acrylic paint. So I use a uh, Flow Aid, a slow dryer, and a mixing medium, but it was gloss. I could do a more detailed video of like, which each one does, but the gloss is to kind of give it its finished look, of course. The Flow Aid helps the paint spread way better. And the slow dryer allows the drying time to expand. Acrylic dries really, really quickly. 
and if you want to slow down your colors to give you more time to paint and not in a rush I will use a slow dryer and I got all of these from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and I also used a retarder which a retarder which also slows down the drying pace as well the colors that I use and they're not in the particular order I'm just gonna list the colors that I use was burnt umber cadmium orange titanium white burnt sienna nepothal crimson I hope I'm saying that right I'm a teacher and I don't know how to pronounce certain words Serene Blue, Unbleached Titanium, Iridescent Bright Gold, and Primary Blue. And this would be my last voiceover, so you can stop listening to me and just watch me paint. All I did with those colors were just make variations, and as you can see, like I'm just going into the paint straight on from my palette and mixing in with white, mixing the neighboring colors, um, just really it's a freestyle and I like the the freedom that I have to just place colors wherever it felt good and wherever it just felt right and I just kept going back in and forth and just mixing however whatever just you know needed more blue, needed more orange, needed more rust and just whatever just felt good that's where I placed the product and as you can see I have to stand up to make sure I get the size that is always a painter's trick paint all four sides even though you can't see it you just want to make sure all sides are painted and then I turned the paintings around and went in different directions and just literally just painted what felt good um yeah so thank you so much for watching this video if you made it all the way to the end please comment the 10th comment that i receive will receive a free 8 by 10 painting i will inbox you and let you know that you are a winner it is the first person who makes the 10th comment <laughs> let me make sure i said that right if you are the 10th person to make a comment I will inbox you to let you know that you are the winner of a free customized 8x11 painting I will give you more details like what I will you know the parameters you have to stay within but yeah hope you enjoy see you in the next video
and I'm not a professional. So, uh, like I said, use a gas mask.